Hi fish lovers I welcome you all to my channel Blue Aquatics I believe you all are doing well Friends every fish lover wants a crystal clear tank or a tank which is not even 1% dirty and why not Crystal clear tanks are so impressive and attracts everyone's attention but do you know most of these crystal clear tanks are so bad yes you guys heard it right most of the crystal clear tanks are often referred to as poor tanks do you know why let me tell you and i am sure that at the end of this video you will be able to know why most of the crystal clear tanks are so poor so let's start with our main topic that why anti chlorine medicine is added into the tank or you can say how is chlorine bad for the fish first of all let me tell you why chlorine is added to the water almost all municipal committees treat their water with chlorine or chloramine do you know why chlorine or chloramine is added into the water the answer to this is chlorine is a very cheap and effective way to treat water which makes water safe for human consumption so now you know that chlorine is least effective to humans but the question is that how chlorine is effective to fishes chlorine in water attacks on the gills of fish since the gills of fish help take oxygen in and release carbon dioxide so the chlorine directly attacks the gills of fish which causes respiratory issues many times you must have noticed that on changing the water fish starts coming at the water surface gasping for air or might be laying down at the bottom this is because of the reason that the water was not conditioned properly or you can say it was not dechlorinated i had seen many shopkeepers doing big size tank servicing at homes or shops and add new water using a pipe and after that adding required medicines directly into the tank friends this is never recommended due to this you are pushing your fish to death if you had ever done this or watched anyone servicing a big tank then after complete filling of the tank you must have noticed that fishes sit at the bottom of the tank or come at the top for air this is because of the chlorine factor only a study shows that the amount of 0.05 mg per liter i repeat 0.05 mg per liter of chlorine concentration is deadly for the fishes and guys do you know that the tap water 
coming to our homes has 0.5 to 2.0 mg per liter amount of chlorine so from these figures you can examine how dangerous is the tap water for your fish if it is not dechlorinated so whenever you want to add new water always dechlorinate it first friends now you all know a lot about chlorine and its problems to the fish guys if any fish is attacked by chlorine then that fish will displays signs of distress swimming around extensively at first in the hope of avoiding the poison after this their color starts to fade and they become inactive lie down at the bottom or come at the top for gasping air they start to breathe very hard before they die now let me tell you how to treat a fish who is affected by chlorine if your fish is showing the signs of chlorine attack as discussed before then immediately add some water conditioners like anti chlorine medicine to remove chlorine from water also increase the aeration level by using an air stone and keep it near to the fish if you are not able to do chlorine removal treatment on time then this can lead to fish death now let us know how to protect a fish from chlorine attack first of all never do a 100% water change just change 30 to 40% of water every week secondly even if you have changed only 20% of water then also add anti chlorine medicine always use stored water when doing a water change always add a water conditioner into the tank after doing a water change or it's better to use dechlorinated water make sure the conditioner added into the aquarium helps in removing chlorine from water never add a fish into the water which is never conditioned always ready your tank before purchasing a new fish so summing up friends fishes can't tell us what they feel under the water as we had kept them as a pet so it's our responsibility to take good care of them check for the signs as discussed in this video and if you find any then immediately take the necessary action there are many different types of water conditioners available in the market and works well but my recommendation is to use api stress coat but if you want to suggest 
any other anti chlorine medicine then please mention in the comments section so that it will be helpful for all of us so from this topic now you can know that how important is to dechlorinate the water before adding in the tank and i hope you like this interesting topic so for watching more interesting videos do subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon so that you never miss any important update stay online and stay healthy and have a happy fish keeping